Looks like Brown Santa brought us a new present today. One of our very first Mopar Jeep mods. What I thought, we got our new floor mats in. You can see they are Mopar all weather mats. Something we did not order with our JL, but probably should have. You can see, this is what they look like. Back seats as well. Nice. Time to install these floor mats. And the first thing we gotta do is cut off these safety tags. Which we won't be needing. If you can see here, the new all weather floor mats that Mopar is manufacturing it actually comes with a drain port that'll be installed right into the floor pans of our Jeep. You can see that it's actually got a significant size to it so it can go all the way down and in. So to begin, what we're gonna do is make sure the seat's all the way back, which it is already. And then we're gonna just pull up the existing floor mats, grabbing it firmly and pulling it up this out. As I just showed you, the floor mat has a port on it so that it would drain right through the floor pans. And if you look here on the carpeting, actually you almost need to feel for it. There's a perforation right here. You can almost feel it right next to the plug right here or the, the point that holds it on. See, I lifted up the carpet, but it's still attached on either side right here in the middle. So we're going to take a utility knife and just cut those pieces off right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this, and we're going to cut this, and that's it. So as you can see here, there on the floor pan itself, there's a rubber plug that we're going to need to remove as well. So you're going to want to get a flathead screwdriver, just carefully pry in here, and lift up. Just like that. You can see all the way through now. Okay, it's so now time to put in our new all-weather floor mat, situated in place. And then press that on, press that on, and then give it a solid hit with your palm to make sure that it's in. And then you take your rubber plug that you remove from the floor pan and reinstall it onto the floor mat. So the next time you've got snow on your shoes, mud, or whatever, and you just want to rinse it out, you can practically just take a hose, pull this plug out, and rinse it right out. Just like that. There you have it. So cool, it has like these little Easter eggs. It's got a little mining symbol here on the topography and a Jeep. Okay, we're gonna install the rear floor mats now. So we're just gonna pop these guys off. Put in the first one here on the passenger side. As you can see, it's actually got these little nubs on here so it'll clip in to the other side. Pop that in, pop that in. Okay, so we just need to pop this guy out, pop that guy out, and then insert the floor mat. that in, push that in, and then assemble these last pieces right there. And there you have it. They look great. I love them. All the floor mats are installed now. Thanks for tuning in to the JL Journal. If you're not already a member, we would love for you to come visit us over at jlwrangler.com and become a part of our online community. We'll see you again next time.